When I begin painting the character, my first task is usually to set the number of skeleton objects down to one. Uh, I really like to have the contrasty weight map because it lets me know that I have no surprises. I have one point, one deformer. Very simple. Uh, also going to open up the weight panel here. And I'm going to close down the Explorer because I don't really need to see it while I'm painting. I'm going to close down my Preferences window. So I'll usually just pick one side of the character and I'll start to modify it. Uh, we can sort of check out what the deformation problem is uh, in the torso. I'll usually start from the torso and work my way out. Um, I tend to cheat a little bit in the torso in just the sense that I really want to minimize the amount of work I'm doing by painting one side, but I really just end up painting both sides anyways because it's so quick in XSI to paint. And it's kind of fun too. Uh, we can just put the character into a pose to see where the problem areas uh, may be. So I'll start with the torso. And rather than have all of the bicep bone take these points, we're going to assign all of the points very quickly to this vertebra. I can use my tag point tool T and just drag a box across all the points that I think should be involved. And it looks like there are some other points there as well. A little hotkey you can use to deselect is to use control and shift while you're in tag point mode and it'll deselect points that you draw a rectangle around. I can use one of the tools in the paint panel called local reassign where I simply just pick the deformer with my left mouse button and then right click and all of those points are very quickly reassigned to the picked object or picked deformer. I'm going to take these points here and do the same thing. Just local reassign. Right click very quickly we can just kind of rough in some of these areas. Let's have a look at this character, how it moves through the torso. Again, you're going to have these very contrasty uh, transition points because they can only grab onto one or the other. That behavior doesn't look too bad. Down here in the belly, I'm just going to take my paintbrush, W press D to pick the deformer. And I'm going to expand that paintbrush and give a little bit more weight to the belly so that when the character twists the belly moves with it. And again, nothing really happened here because I was in an additive mode where I was adding 10% opacity uh, to the current weight of the bone. The other kind of downside here is that that bone is yellow which matches the pelvis. So just going to find the pelvic root and give it a different color, like maybe red. There we go, so we can kind of see what's happening. Uh, so I'll pick the vertebra and just switch to an absolute mode and paint it 100% vertebra 3. I'm also going to grab all the points in this area because I can see that there's a lot of points weighted high up in the thigh to the leg and that's just a little bit too high I believe. So I can give more of these points here just by tagging them. I can save them from a horrible death. some reason I have some points highlighted down here. Uh, local reassign to the vertebra bones. So that should take care of those. So when I move the thigh bone, it doesn't look quite as bad. It's still nothing to write home about. I'm going to take uh, some of the pelvic area W, D, pick the pelvis and paint it 100%. Uh, we're just going to follow some of the, the pelvic lines of the character. Like the bikini line, if you will. Quick 
quickly just rough in the thighs. Give some of these points back to the bikini line. And looks better in there. Good. We're actually getting a nice isolation here. So this is going to blend together very well once I smooth this. The only thing I really need to worry about here now is just the character's little butt cheek. So I'll paint that out. Get a little overzealous with the pelvis bone there. So I'll pull that out. Maybe even. Get a bit more definition there. And the pelvis is definitely not having an effect out here. Uh, although there is a pelvic girdle, so yeah, you know what? I'm going to leave that there. That actually defines that pelvic bone, uh, pubic bone, pretty nicely. And just go a little bit higher, adding in a bit to the pelvis bone right about there. Excellent. So if I want to mirror the weights as I'm uh, as I'm working, it's pretty simple. I'm just going to switch on over back to my toolbar. Um, I'm going to put my character back into a bind pose just because I can by applying the action, and I'm going to create a symmetry mapping template. And the template's going to be mirrored across the YZ symmetry plane. And I just need to double check uh, a list of mapping from and mapping to rules that de uh, define the right side map to the left side map and the corresponding left side map to the right side map. And you can see I've actually missed a bone here to name, so I should be aware of that. I'm going to validate that map. There's no errors in it or none that I can see. And I'm going to close down the attribute editor. And in order to mirror these weights over that I've been working on, I just need to tag the points on the side that I want to mirror over, say these guys here, and run the envelope mirror weights tool. And all those points are mirrored over to the other side. Now when I press W to paint again, uh, I do actually see the effect of my symmetry map. And in XSI, you can only display one weight map at a time. So I'm going to press the selection button access my clusters folder, so just my little pop-out explorer, and under my envelope weight cluster I have my envelope weights, and under my symmetry map cluster I have a newly created symmetry map. So if I press on the envelope weights and actually activate my paint tool, you can see that I can toggle between the active map, and you can see that it's uh, nicely symmetrized. So we can continually paint and then flip the weights over to the other side. Let's have a look at what's going on in the leg. Again, just that nice hard uh, transition. Could probably fix this area back here. I'm going to add in the influence of the left thigh. So we have a very hard transition point. And of course I can mirror that right on over to the other side. Beauty of working with mirror weight. So again, it doesn't look that great when we first bind it, but once we smooth it, it'll be okay. Ankle needs a little bit of work. I'll just go into a paint mode. 
pick the foot bone and just paint in the influence of an ankle. And the toes look like they have a decent deformation. Maybe what I'll do is remove the influence of this fourth toe here. So I'll actually just tag a few points. I'll use a little trick. It's kind of hard to get in here. So I'm actually going to use the Grow Selection tool, which is just Shift plus equals. And I'm going to reassign those points using Envelope Reassign locally, and I'll assign it to the uh, second bone. So these definitely won't move now. So it's just isolating the first uh, three toes back into my paint palette. So I'll take all that once again and just mirror everything across to the other side. And we'll continue working our way up the body.